A passenger jet flies overhead, wheels down. This short video is intended to help inform airline and airport staff on best practices for assisting a visually impaired passenger accompanied by a guide dog through the airport and boarding an aircraft while incorporating the social distancing guidelines necessary during the COVID-19 pandemic. Following these guidelines and tips will help to ensure a safe and pleasant experience for both passengers and employees. People with guide dogs arrive at an airport terminal. On-screen text, greeting a person who is blind. Under the Americans with Disabilities Act and the Air Carrier Access Act, people who are blind or visually impaired are entitled to full access to all public accommodations, including airports and air travel accompanied by their trained service dog. An agent approaches a team. When you encounter a passenger who is visually impaired and their guide dog entering the airport, approach the team and ask if they need assistance to the check-in counter. It is important to engage the person and not speak to or distract the guide dog. An agent offers an elbow. Many guide dog teams are frequent travelers and may find the counter unassisted, while others may appreciate some direction such as, the counter is to your right about 10 feet. A man and a shepherd walk to the counter. When giving verbal directions, please be as specific as possible. An agent leads a woman and her golden retriever to the ticket counter. On-screen text, checking in. When checking a passenger into a flight, Please make them aware of the plastic shield between them and you and direct them to a good spot to pass over their ID and credit card if checking luggage. When returning the items, give them a verbal cue that you are handing them the items and return them to the same spot as the items were placed originally. The agent returns your ID around the shield. You can also direct them to any available hand sanitizers that may be available for their use. When passing along a printed boarding pass, you can point out any unique features or shape to help detail where the barcode is located. For example, your boarding pass has a perforated edge. The barcode runs lengthwise along that edge. They leave the counter. Describe the process of scanning the barcode at security and at the gate. If their boarding pass is on their phone, let them know that it will also need to be scanned at security and at the gate. Ask the passenger if they would like assistance to the gate. If so, please direct the passenger to where they will wait for an assistant. An agent follows on an escalator. This would be an important time to communicate the locations of any dog relieving areas and whether they are available pre or post security. This information will help a traveler decide when it is best to relieve their dog before the flight. On-screen text, navigating the airport. An agent leads another woman and her retriever off an elevator. It is essential to ask the traveler their preferred method of navigating the airport. Because there are ranges of vision impairments, the traveler will communicate how much detailed information they may need from you. Many options are conducive to adhering to social distancing parameters. Some travelers will ask you to follow behind them while you offer directions verbally, noting any changes in elevations like stairs, such as in 10 feet, you will turn right, or you are now approaching stairs going up. Or they may ask to follow you by giving the command follow to their guide dog. It is helpful to continue some verbal exchange during the walk to allow the passenger to confirm that they are still following you. A guide holds one end of a cane. Some other examples include offering human guide. A traveler the other. Adjustments can be made to minimize contact all while offering a level of social distancing. They include the traveler holding your shoulder or wrist, disposable gloves, or a sturdy tissue can minimize direct contact with another person. Washing of hands or the use of hand sanitizer would be encouraged prior to and after this method of travel is used. A woman and her dog follow an agent through a roped corridor. On-screen text, security gate. When going through security, a traveler is not required to remove their guide's harness, nor should a guide dog team ever be separated since not only is the guide dog the traveler's primary mobility aid, it also is the traveler's responsibility to manage their guide dog's behavior during this process. This is another area that necessitates detailed directions on how to navigate the specific features of your security gate. The team proceeds. Travelers may be able to use your voice as a beacon. To the metal detector. Be sure that no obstacles impede the visually impaired traveler's path when using this method. When it is time to use the walkthrough metal detector, the visually impaired traveler should be directed to come as close to the opening as possible. The dog sits. Most travelers choose to walk through the portal first while keeping their guide on a leashed stay position. This helps minimize the need for the traveler to receive a pat down by a TSA agent. 
Once the traveler has cleared the walkthrough metal detector, the TSA agent should indicate the guide is clear to come through the portal. She calls her dog. Because most guide dog equipment contains metal, the metal detector will likely alert, requiring a pat down or visual inspection of the dog's equipment by a TSA agent. The TSA agent will inform the traveler of this need. The agent should keep the process brief and avoid talking to or soliciting attention from the guide dog. If a physical pat down of a person or dog is required, the TSA agent should don fresh gloves to lessen the chance of cross-contamination with previously screened passengers. A woman collects her belongings as her dog waits. On-screen text, boarding and exiting the plane. Upon reaching the gate, please inform the traveler that a gate agent will be assisting with the boarding process. A team at the gate. Those gate agents should introduce themselves offering to explain the distinct features about the boarding process for this particular gate. They walk down a jet bridge. Communicative boarding will occur via a jet bridge, through a series of ramps or stairs, or if boarding requires a bus to reach the plane on the tarmac. The option of pre-boarding should be made available to visually impaired travelers who may need the extra time or assistance during the boarding process. Travelers who are blind or visually impaired have individual preferences regarding where they'd like to be seated on the plane, as do all travelers. They arrive at the plane. As such, please don't assume travelers with guide dogs would prefer to sit in the bulkhead and honor their seat reservation unless they request a change. They step aboard. The traveler will let you know how they prefer to board the plane and reach their seat and will use any of the options similar to navigating the airport. They reach their row. Offer a verbal cue to indicate when they have reached their assigned row, along with which side of the plane their seat is located. They may need your assistance with storing their belongings, including their guide dog's harness in the overhead bin. Please note many travelers may prefer to store their guide's harness in the seat back pocket or on the floor. The dog under the seat. It is helpful to introduce the traveler to call buttons and air controls. Flight attendants should offer to guide travelers' hands to the buttons and controls. They touch the overhead controls. While airlines may prefer that travelers who are blind or visually impaired deplane last if they are receiving assistance within the airport, Many guide dog handlers may choose to deplane independently with other passengers. A man and his Labrador walk alone to baggage claim. Cooperation and inclusion are more important than ever. Back outside. Thank you for your role in offering safe, excellent, and equitable service to travelers of all abilities. A team in a GDB van. Guide Dogs for the Blind and the Seeing Eye wish to thank Alaska Airlines, the Port of Oakland, the TSA team at Oakland International Airport, United Airlines, the Port of Newark, and the TSA team at Newark International Airport. For more information, visit guidedogs.com or seeingeye.org. Their logos and URLs on the screen. The light fades to black.